Hey there guys, Psycho Red here, and I wanted to give you guys a tutorial on how to get the GBA, I, GBA for iOS emulator on your iDevice for free. So my device is actually running uh, iOS 9.3.2. I haven't actually updated to any of the, sort of the betas yet, but if you are on 9.3.2, I believe this also will work on 9.3.3. .3. Uh, and I've yet to try this on my iOS 10 device, but I will have to do that in just a bit. But uh, what I found was actually pretty amazing. So if you want to, you can go to gba for ios appcom and you can actually download the emulator through here. So actually, let me go ahead and delete this off so I can show you guys the whole process that I took when getting this application. Now, uh, before doing everything, I went to settings under, um, so there it is, Safari. If you scroll down to clear history and website data, that also does help. Go ahead and do that. And then after you've done that, let's go ahead and shut our device off. And then we'll go ahead and re in restart our device up. Perfect. Okay. Now that our device is started up, let's go ahead and tilt to the side here. We'll go and launch Safari and we're going to navigate to GBA for iOS app.com. Actually, let's do this. I'm still under my dating time, I'm still in the past. Let's actually put that back into the present. Now let's actually go back to the website. That should work. We'll go and hit the download button from right here. And then from here, we're gonna scroll down till we see download GBA for iOS 2.1. We'll go ahead and click on that. There we go. We're hit, we'll hit install. We should see the app loading there. Now it's taking its time to load. That's actually giving us a second to go to settings under date and time and to set the time back. We're going to go back just to 2014. And we'll let this guy load and Good deal. There we go. So we've already been able to get it to load. Now I've noticed this, this date thing. I hate this date trick thing. And I really hope that something comes out within the app store where there's like a golden certificate for a GBA um, iOS emulator, but I doubt that's going to happen. But anyways, um, I've been fiddling around with the dates. And if you choose a date that's too far in the, in the past, I mean, actually I should, I should, let me refrain. Let me actually rewind. If you choose a date that's too close to the present time, then you'll uh, you'll emulator or actually excuse me the GBA for iOS emulator won't install and you'll have to choose a different day and you have to continue to keep going back. Uh, 2014 seems to work and uh, I haven't had any sort of problems with that. So make sure you go back to that date. Now the next thing we got to do is go to settings. From here we have to trust the device. So let's go and put our time back to normal. And under general, we're gonna scroll down to device management. We're gonna hit that and we're gonna go ahead and trust this. We're gonna trust this and hit trust one more time. Okay, now that we've trusted the application, we still can't run it yet. We actually have to go back in time one more time. Under settings. And under date and time here, we are gonna go back again. 2014 seems to be the go-to year. If you hit anything further than that, that's fine. 2012 is not bad either. We'll go ahead and click on GBA for iOS and it launches normally right here. So there you guys have it. There's your GBA for iOS. What you can do from there is you can search for ROMs, but when you search for ROMs, you're still in the past. So what you have to do is go into settings, Put your time back normal because you're, you're going to want your time back in normal mode. And what you can do is you can double click and the application will still run 
in the background. Now I do recommend that if you are, if for whatever reason, if this application uh, does crash the day after, um, to prevent that from happening, make sure that you leave your app running in the background. And also too, when you go into the settings here, there's an option for, excuse me, there's an option for your, um, for your Dropbox sync. Make sure that you have that on and you download Dropbox. I can't stress that enough. It will have all your saved data on there and all your M all your ROMs uh, that you've downloaded from the internet on there as well too. And that's something that you just do not want to lose. It's just all your saved data that you've done. So let's go ahead and search for some ROMs real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to GBA ROMs. So Let's see here. Free ROMs is always a good website to go to. That's pretty easy. We'll go in, go under uh, P. Actually, you know what? Let me download a Mario game. There we go. And when you download, notice you'll have a link right here that's going to count down and it eventually will show the, um, the direct download from there. There we go. We'll go ahead and click on that. And by tapping download, we'll download it. You can name it whatever you like. And if you'll notice at the top bar right here, it's loading and completed. So let's go ahead and tap on that. And we'll throw the sound on too. It's been a while, so I need to do 50 CC. And as you can see, the game runs perfectly without any sort of glitches or errors or anything like that. Oh man, it's been way too long since I've played this game. I don't even know how to use the uh, the items over here. So pretty much <laughs> that's that's the GBA for iOS emulator in a nutshell. So go ahead and download that. And if you have any questions or concerns, please go ahead and leave a comment under uh, in in the comment section. And uh, please subscribe and like this video. Uh, that really does mean a lot. And it just it honestly when you like and subscribe. Um, it just it motivates any sort of YouTuber who gets any sort of likes or, subs or subscribes. It just motivates them to want to do more. So that actually just uh, gives us a nice little pat on the back for uh, putting these videos together. So go ahead and like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Comment, share this video around, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. For all things Apple Plus, this is Psycho Red signing off. I hope you guys have a good rest of your guys' night, and peace.